asked me how to make char cloth so um, let me show you how we do it here um, I use a bio light stove um, it's a lot heavier than what I would normally use for camping for comparison size it is uh, definitely bigger than my hand and it's just uh, too heavy but I found that it's actually great for making char cloth so I'm going to use the stove a pair of scissors to cut the cloth a brand spanking new Altoids can because you'll need to pick one of these up um, out of this I'm actually only going to be using a fire still some 100% cotton cloth now this is an old shirt that's got a big huge rip in it but it does say right there get it to focus one hundred percent cotton um, and this bag I actually is a tinder bag that I keep in my bushcraft kit um, that way I've always got tinder suitable for starting a fire and then down here is a bunch of sticks that I just picked up out of the yard they got blown down out of the trees from the last storm in various um, stages of uh, dryness and decay but for the most part I think they're mostly dead so basically I'm going to start by filling the stove up I do the sticks in a vertical fashion and I'll show you that as soon as I get done video I basically have all my sticks stuck in in a vertical fashion and this is some of my tinder out of my tinder kit um, I try to keep the sticks so they're relatively about even with the top of this and for reference it is the size of a fist so basically if you put the stick in your hand and clinch it like this and then break it off at your pinky that is the correct length for me it's about four and a half or five inches I think all right so with that done we're going to open up our Altoids can uh, actually let me shut this off and get the wrapper off but I've got the wrapper off you basically have your can of Altoids um, really good peppermint candies um, however being that this is a new can that's an awful lot of Altoids to eat so I'm gonna stick two stick two in my mouth and I'm gonna dump the rest of them out on this shirt that I can then transfer to a plastic bag later on because I don't want to eat that many that's a lot so with that done next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this shirt into some strips and I'll show you that as soon as I get it done so basically you're gonna cut your material into pieces that are just smaller than the can in both width and length and then you're going to put it inside your Altoids can uh, you don't want it to be packed in there too tightly but you want it to be you know not too empty either so once you get that done close the lid just make sure the lid's closed. Anywhere that there was material doubled up, I discarded. Um, it will turn to char cloth, but it takes a lot longer. Um, so I, I prefer to use the thinner material. So with that done, I'll go ahead and get the fire going, and uh, we'll show you how to do this. So basically once you have the fire going pretty good you can go ahead and stick the Altoids can on top like so. I'll go ahead and shut this off and uh, we'll record from the camera stand. So if you notice you can kind of see some white smoke coming out of the Altoids can but when you see the smoke stop that means that the cotton material has turned to char cloth. Once the uh, can stops smoking 
you can kind of tell that uh, when it's when it's on the flame you could see it in the previous video or the previous section so uh, you'll see that it has smoke coming around the lid and then once it stops smoking you are then left with char cloth So the uh, next time that I do a video, I'll go ahead and do a video of starting a fire using flint and steel and charcoal.